Tiffany from Southern Couture, and I am so excited to show you guys a little bit more about the Illustrating Bible. So if you have not heard about this Bible, I will leave a link down below. You want to check it out. It's from Dayspring and Illustrated Faith. It is a huge, huge, huge game changer for Bible journal. Um, journaling fans and I just know you're gonna love it. It is spiral bound so it lays flat so you can mark in any part of the Bible without having to you know have that awkward binding keeping your Bible laying up when you want it laying flat. So it's just a great great Bible and I hope you'll check it out. I know that if you love to journal in your Bible, if you love just studying, doing note taking, this Bible is going to be a great help for you. So check that out. There's a video down below if you haven't seen it that tells you all about it, all the features. It shows you a flip through and um, I hope that will help you. But today I am using a um, art medium in my Bible that a lot of times I have a lot of questions about it. People are hesitant to use it because they are afraid of major bleed through and messing up their pages. So I'm excited to show you how it worked in this Bible. All right. Dun, da, da. So here is the page that I have done to show you today. And um, this uh, actually comes from Psalms 127 verse three. And I wanna start out there today. Sons are indeed a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward. And it goes on to talk about, uh, you know, blessings of the Lord and of a child. And so um, at the time I'm recording this, my little boy's about a little over five months old. And so I am, am so excited to be getting this large wide margin space here to be able to put one of his little ultrasound pictures in here that I will treasure forever and ever. A lot of times we get the, I, you know, I get these and, and then you just put them somewhere, but I love that I'm able to put it in my Bible and remember it. And this was when he was 26 weeks and five days old. So this is such a special page to me. I'm going to try not to tear up <laughs> or cry talking about this page, but I just love how it came together. And for, to add a little color on the background, that's what I'm really here to talk about today. I used watercolors. So I get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions. Probably that's the question I get the most is about watercolors in the Bible. And um, so I have other tutorials that I can link down below talking about using watercolors in your Bible. But a lot of people were curious how that was going to work in here. And so let me first show you the set that I have is from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. I love it because it comes in this little tin case. Um, all of your colors are in here. You have these sides to do mixing and different things like that. And then it also comes with, um, let me just lay it right there for now. It comes with a brush that fits in it and it actually screws and unscrews so that you can store it in the case for traveling. So it makes it perfect and then it just slides right down in the middle of it. So um, that is the watercolors that I used. And so I added some color and on the pages. Now, let me say, I have always said less is more when you're doing watercoloring and bottle journaling. Less water is better because you don't want to saturate your page with water. It's going to soak it up like a sponge. These pages are 75% thicker, but what I did was I accidentally made a mistake, which I'm glad the mistake happened so that I can show you an example, and I'm not torn out of the frame. It is okay that it messed up. Um, I will be able to use the color on you know another entry, but when I was doing some watercolors on this page or on this section, I got too much water on the um, brush, and so this is what happened. I don't know, let me pull this over if you can see that good enough. Um, I got just a little bit um, of the color showing through more on this page. I would call this very, 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 very minimal um, bleed through. I don't even know if, if um, you would call it bleed through, maybe more of a heavy shadowing. Uh, so I was so impressed, tremendously impressed. I have to say at first, I thought it was gonna be a terrible bleed through. Um, I was really worried, but after it dried completely, I mean, it is so minimal that I can barely see it through on this side and I'm going to be able to just, you know, use that color with another entry without a problem. So if you look here where I did some more watercolor, there is no bleed through at all. That is actually where I just accidentally got the um, paint went over or underneath the page to this side. So that's okay. Um, you can use that, of course, with an entry. But there's no bleed through whatsoever. Down here is where I did more of the watercolor. Um, no bleed through at all. That's just where it got on the edge of the page underneath it. Um, but totally okay. This is a little bit of pink shadowing that you see from the back side of the scrapbook paper that I used on that. But, um, you know, if the paper has just a minimal shadowing, 
so did the watercolors. I am just so highly impressed with that. Typically, when I have done that and got too much water, the color is just soaked through the back completely. If you've seen me show other examples of mistakes I've made with watercolors, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'm here to say watercolors work tremendously in this Bible. Um, they are fabulous. I'm going to be using them more and more. I love um, that we don't have to worry so much about that bleed through because the pages are thicker. You can hear, hear how thick they are. Bible pages sound very sheer and fine, but these are very thick. The watercolor worked fantastic. So let me just mention, because I know some of you may want to know, the paper that was used here, this scrapbook paper, this is from the, um, I believe it's All People, All Nations um, collection from Illustrated Faith. I can link that down below, as well as these little stickers, accents. These also came from that collection. These are homespun alphas from um, Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. This is one of the uh, mini highlighter paintbrushes from the Illustrated Faith print and price shop. And then this little In Your Image, which worked perfect for this page. I'm so excited I found that. That is from the Word Fetty um, sticker booklet, also from Illustrated Faith. Um, and then underneath that was just a little grid um, index card that I cut and layered. So watercolors, big, 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 two big thumbs up for watercolors, they work outstandingly well. I just love them. Um, so if you have any questions, please let me know. I would be more than glad um, to answer those. I would love to know if there's any other art medium supplies, pens, etc. that you want to see tested in the Bible and how those work out. Um, please let me know and uh, you will find a link down below to order your Bible as well. So please join us with the Illustrating Bible community. All of us, um, we're just so excited for this awesome new Bible with a spiral bound, thicker pages, larger margins. It's just um, perfect. I love it. So um, I hope to see you guys again very soon, showing you more entries in this brand new Bible. Have a great day. Bye-bye.